let's assume I'm having a square matrix which is having elements such as so this square matrix of order 2 cross 2 is having this variable x as the element and minus 3.0 and 3.0 and element 4 and it is said that the eigenvalues are repeating and since this is 2 cross 2 matrix this will have the eigenvalues as two eigenvalues and it is said that these eigenvalues are repeating that means eigenvalues are repeating so this means that these two eigenvalues is going to have the same value so now we need to find out the value of x and from the property of these eigenvalues so we need to find the value of x we, and it is given that the eigenvalues are repeating and we have this square matrix and now we need to use this property of eigenvalues and it states that if you are finding out the determinant of this square matrix this is equals to this if this is n cross n which is a square matrix which is a product of all these eigenvalues so you can observe this is for the 2 cross 2 so we have two eigenvalues and when it comes to this um, n cross n we are, we are going to have n number of eigenvalues and all of that are going to multiply to get this determinant of this square matrix and if you are going to if you if you if you are going to add all these eigenvalues up to this n this is equals to this trace of this square matrix so this trace of this square matrix is nothing but the sum of leading diagonal element So right here it is said that this n is going to be equals to 2 and because of that this a determinant uh, and it is also said that these two are uh, eigenvalues which are multiplying these two are the same that is as I, I have provided this as let this be having this value so this becomes equals to this so its determinant is this square and the sum of this eigenvalue that is is going to be we have this since both of them are same so when you add these two eigenvalues it becomes two times this eigenvalue so and also let us find its a determinant that is equals to this 4 multiplying with this x that is 4x and 3 minus of this value that is minus of minus 3 and multiplying with this 3 again so we'll have this 4x plus 9 and this determinant is equals to this square this is equals to the, this value so this is one and another condition is that the trace of this square matrix is the sum is the sum of these leading diagonal elements <coughs> that is x plus 4 these are the leading diagonal elements 
and this is going to be equals to 2 times this value so finally this value is equals to this x plus 4 by 2 and this you can prove this value at this place we then will have 4x plus 9 equals to this root square that is x plus 4 by 2 whole square so now you can observe that we only have this variable that is x for this equation so this is how we can find these types of equation by using these type of properties and now it's become easier to find the unknown variable that is 4x plus 9 equals to this x plus 4 square and 2 square is equals to this 4 and this equals to x square plus 16 plus 8x whole divided by this 4 and this 4 is going to multiply with this portion and it becomes 16x plus 9 4 is 36 which is equals to this x square plus 16x plus this this is 16 Now let us bring these two elements at this right side then we will have x square plus 16 plus this x is having 8 and this comes at this right hand side so it becomes minus 16 and this 36 comes to this right hand side becomes minus 36 so finally this becomes x square this is minus 8x and 36 minus 16 0 3 minus 1 is 2 so since this uh, value is higher for this negative sign so it becomes minus of this 20 and now since we have this equation so to find the value of x we need to make this equation as a 0 so to find the value of x which is equals to minus v plus or minus this root square minus 4 ac by this 2a where a is 1 b is this coefficient that is minus a c is this minus 20 so x is going to be equals to plus 8 plus or minus root or b square 64 minus 4 a and this c minus 20 by 2a is 2 and this uh, this becomes plus 80 and 64 this 8 4 uh, 120 144 and rotor of 144 is actually equals to 12 so x is going to be plus 8 plus or minus this is 12 by 2 8 plus 12 by 2 8 minus this is 12 by 2 equals to that is 20 by 2 is 10 and this is uh, minus 4 by 2 is minus 2 so x is having these two values and in the question it is said that this x has to be a positive real value and for this x to be a positive now we have this x is going to be equals to 10 and for so this is the only positive real value and this is the negative real value so real is let's assume examples like 1 2 minus 2 and so on and when it comes to complex or imaginary at that case we will have this item 1 minus i and so on since both of them are not having this imaginary part so both of them are real since this is positive so to get uh, our intention needs to find a positive real value so this is positive and also it is real so the main condition here is that if we know these properties of eigenvalues it is quite easier to find the equations only in the terms of a single variable 
and after that we can actually find uh, its values if we know these properties like if you are finding out the determinant it is equals to the product of all these eigenvalues and the trace of these diagonal leading diagonal elements is actually equals to sum of all the eigenvalues